such a beautiful view. The fuck? Bro, I'm just noticing something. Look at this shit. You ain't nothing but a bro. Boy, 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 bro. Boy, bro. Motherfucking boy, bro. Boy, bro. Boy, bro. Motherfucking boy. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Bro. You weird as hell, bro. What is you like seriously looking at? Flight team stand up! Woo! First day back, you know what I'm saying? In LA. Um I noticed that it is about that time to start going grocery shopping. When I ran out of toothpaste. That means yes, I have not brushed my teeth this morning. It's about to be 12 o'clock. Because I ran out of toothpaste, that was an ultimate signal for me, you know what I'm saying, to go to my friendly neighborhood Walmart. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, man, we just living a life right now. I ain't worried about a thing. You know what I'm saying? People was uh, making rumors, quote unquote, that we was about to get our house broken into by two uh, funny looking YouTube niggas. Uh, and we're gonna be on the lookout for today. So, with that being said, I'm probably gonna be around the house most of the day just to be on the lookout, you know, and be ten toes down with that. But for now, I'm taking care of errands because I have to take care of my priorities first. I can't be worried about two, you know what I'm saying, imbeciles. So I need to go stack up, stock up on these groceries, you know what I'm saying, re-up, you know what I'm saying, the snack gang gang, you know what I'm saying. Comment down below your go-to snacks whenever you go to Walmart, your go-to cereal, whatever. Um, and also, I need to go uh, take care of some other things, like, you know, bills, like grown man-ish, you know what I'm saying. Um, we're not on the internet all day trying to um, worry about somebody else's sister and making sure not doing a video with them, not trying to fire any shots whatsoever. That was not intended at all. Uh, but yeah, man. Come on, come on, come on, hurry up. Let's get out the car right now, bro. It's hot. Like, I don't know what's wrong with you. It's hot as hell. No AC on the cars off and everything, man. I don't know why. Why are you sitting in the car? Uh, groceries on deck. Groceries on deck. Ugh, man. Groceries. You already know I'm going to have to take multiple freaking trips, man. That's the only negative thing I can definitely say when you live on your own. You have no wife and kids, man independent you know what i'm saying i'm speaking for all my ladies and gentlemen out there man that's getting it you know what i'm saying however they can when it comes to grocery shopping everything is all lit in games until you have to go home <laughs> you know what i'm saying because you're gonna have to eventually go home and what sucks about it uh about my apartment complex at least not the entire thing has stairs you know what i'm saying i mean not excuse me not every part of this apartment complex has an elevator, I should have said. Because it's so funny, I'm dreaming about an elevator carrying most of this stuff all the time, man. But hey, man, we just came back from grocery shopping. First day back, you know what I'm saying? In the city, in the state, you know what I'm saying? Kid is really cooling to himself. They don't gotta um, worry about too much. Never gonna be stressing over niggas. You know? Seems like a fire day to go to the pool, too. Look at that. That should always be nice and hot. That's the thing, Cali. When I was in Florida, it was raining every damn day. Like, every day, almost. Like, Florida's really similar to Seattle. It's funny, but it just has more sunlight. <sighs> it's literally like an exercise sometimes on these stairs. But I always love looking at these mountains and shit. You know what I'm saying? Such a beautiful view. Such a beautiful view. The fuck? Bro, I'm just noticing something. Look at this shit. Now, I don't know if this is for me. It's windy. And yeah, I'm a nosy person. It's windy, but why did somebody just leave? Let's go inside, bro. Maybe it might be. But then again, if it's a package, why isn't it wrapped like a UPS package or some shit, bro? Maybe neighbors are being nice. I remember when my first apartment complex I moved to, I had a neighbor that used to bake cookies. I didn't trust her all the time because I don't know what she could be putting in them. But it was just a nice thing. It was just a thought that counts. But I have to go back down. Probably make like three trips because I had a shitload of groceries. But I want to see what the surprise is because... 
you guys are literally surprised just like me. I didn't expect to get anything in the mail at least. Um, or do I? I mean, I do have like, you know, different sponsorship companies and everything like, but see what this shit is all about. They just give me paper, the foot. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? Who came up to my door? Who came up to my door, bro? And left a note. That is the most childish shit. Nigga, I thought it was a I thought it was a surprise. Who the fuck leaves a note saying you bitch at the door? What was the what was the accomplishment of doing that? What was the accomplishment of doing all of that? Bro. It had to be a fan. It had to be. I hope it's not getting to a point where fans want to start leaving shit and writing shit on cars because the moment that happens, you know what I'm saying, somebody's son or daughter, you know what I'm saying, is going to have some holes in their body. I don't send threats or nothing, but I don't play when it comes to my property. But nothing was damaged here. It's just the fact of just why. Like, this is even mind blowing me right now. Not just, I don't even feel like getting the groceries now. But I have to. I'm not going to let that food go to waste. Hey, man, I'm going to catch y'all, man, in a second. Man, let me bring these groceries up, bro. I'm going to just act like this ain't even happen. All right, man. So, I just really was curious on what led him up to the events. And if you guys wonder why my lips and the tongue is, like, red and everything, it's a red Kool-Aid, you know what I'm saying? It's not lean. It's not alcohol. You know what I'm saying? Just some safe old Kool-Aid jammers. You know what I'm saying? This is summer. It's hot. This is the best drink to have, like, do you rate it? <laughs> like, but anyway, man. Um, not only do I have a stalker, I have a weirdo. Okay? Now, I only dealt with a stalker one time in my life. And it wasn't as bad as what I'm going through and experiencing right now. I literally just flew back into LA. I had to watch my back. Okay? And come to find out, when I'm coming home from grocery shopping yesterday, I went to Walmart. And I, something was telling me I shouldn't have posted that I was in Walmart on my Insta story until I left Walmart. Because, you know what I'm saying, people be weirdos. You know, always got to be ten toes down. I did it anyway because it was early in the morning, so I'm just like, fuck it. Like, I don't think it's not going to be any type of chance risk, right? Wrong. Okay. <laughs> so, tell me how um, I end up leaving Walmart and I get home. I find this strange gift, okay, which you guys already know it was. I'm a bit, okay? I thought it was something special. It was, of course... And something was telling me, okay, who could possibly leave this at my door? There's no way it could be Ty, you know what I'm saying, my ex, you know, all the way in Georgia. Because I don't think she would have that type of psychotic, lieutenant, lunaticness in her brain cells to even fly all the way out from there just to do that on some petty-ish. So I automatically eliminated her, you know what I'm saying, she's innocent. So I think about Diamond, I'm like, okay, maybe Dom Diamond's definitely the suspect in this. But then I was also thinking, like, how does she know that I come back? Because I haven't talked to her, especially ever since she made that video, you know? So there's no way that she could have known. And she doesn't have and know my address by heart. Every time I got Diamond, I also remember, like, she, I drove her, you know? So she doesn't have my address by heart. Even though she claims she does, you know, I'm, I'm also realizing that she said that most of the time, but she doesn't know where I stay. Don't let that girl fool you. She's just crazy. But, um, I'm thinking, who else should it be? What do you guys think? <clears throat> Me cringe. All right, so I'm going to look at this dude spotting me at Walmart, whatever he was doing throughout the day. Okay, and then we're going to go on to why he just delivered a gift. Like, what was the point of that? He sat there, remember, when I was all the way in freaking Fort Lauderdale, you know what I'm saying, at the Sneaker Games event, talking about, oh, I mean, he's going to beat my ass when he comes back. This is what you do? This is what you do, for real, bro? So it seems like he's with Nicks. Now, you guys all know, we don't have smoke with Nicks. No, you don't. Nicks is just, he's just in the, he just happens to be in a storm. There's nothing, but... I look good though, for real. Man, that's gay. You just said the same thing three, three fucking times. Told you. All right. You know what I'm saying? Everything. Literally. 
This is if if if, if this if me not if me whooping his ass. Hold up, what? Couldn't stop him. I promise you, this mother. Why does he still think that he whooped my ass, bro? You guys say I'm delusional. This is the most delusional motherfucker on this website. There is no possible way that you guys can sit up here and take a guy like this seriously. He is walking around every day thinking that he whooped my ass. Like, present is going to stop it. It's going to stop it. I can't tell y'all exactly what's inside the person because I'm pretty sure his dumb ass is going to make a video about it. You know what I'm saying? You already know how Flat Reacts is. Uh, First of all, why does it even matter if that's in your thought, bro? Because you're delivering a present in front of my doorstep. This is where I stay. So it doesn't matter if I make a video or not. I live here and you have it on my property. The fact that he even had the audacity to even state something like that in the same sentence, bro. He's just probably going to say, you know what I'm saying, open it up. The, you know what I'm saying? The president is going to hit him right in the face. You know what I'm saying? Not physically, but it's going to, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to be a threat. It's going to be a huge threat to him. What? Um, and it's going to teach him, all right, man, look, I need to stop fucking with all this thing in LA, man. This, this is getting too far now. You know what I'm saying? It, I'm worried about my safety. This and this and that. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, man, it's, it's going to get to that point now. So, I'm, you see, I'm just sitting here smiling, and I cannot wait for him to open up that goddamn president. It's going to be fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Bro, this. It's beats. Hey, what's good, you nigga? What the fuck are you talking about, bro? <laughs> and you sound like a fucking retarded bitch, nigga. You sound like a fucking idiot, nigga. <sighs> hey, what's good? What the... <laughs> bro, what the fuck, man? What the fuck, like? Bro, I, I don't get you, bro. You are literally something else, but I've never met somebody like your ass, bro. Like, the way you... <laughs> nigga, the way you talk is like you slobbering, you know what I'm saying? It's like you slurring the way you talk. All right, bro, next video. We're going to look at what he inspired him to do to present, and then we're just going to end off that part right there, bro, because this is making me mad. I didn't think it was going to make me mad, but it's making me mad. I don't like when people disrespect my talents, bro. This shit is not funny. It's not funny anymore to this point, bro. <laughs> And that's to anybody. You need. Now I'm dropping these motherfuckers back to back. Ping, ping. But you, you say like a. I, they ain't sent you. Look at these clowns. And Nick was part of this too. Your life is from Connecticut yet. Cause they don't have to. Nah, nigga. Cause you don't know how to motherfucking drive. Nigga, I know how to drive. No, you don't, nigga. Nigga, we out. Nick was part of this too. I thought we were cool. I know how I know you don't know how to drive. You don't know how to drive. Cause where are we going right now? We going to your fucking. No, we not, nigga. We going, we going motherfucking. Uh. Shut the fuck up. Tell you. Alright, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Nick was part of this too. Hey, Nick was part of this too. Be careful for forever, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just be careful. Nah, nigga, because I'm trying to tell you, bro. Like, this nigga might come home at any moment. You know what I'm saying? We saw him at one more. You get what I'm trying to say? So if you see him coming to the stairs, I'm like, just tell him. You know what I'm saying? Look how scared he sounds. Why are you scared that I'm coming home? Talking about I'm the scared one. Did you hear the way his voice sounded? Hint, hint. So we just found some interesting details by accident. I didn't even mean to. Why are you concerned if I'm coming up the stairs? That's my question. I don't understand it. That's my concern. If you say you whoop my ass, you can beat my ass, why are you concerned if I'm coming up the stairs? You should be like, yes, I'm ready. Let me know if he's coming up the stairs so I can be prepared for this. Bro, no. It's a change of energy now. Keep that same energy. This bullshit out in front of me. This nigga ain't gonna like this shit. I got something for this bitch ass nigga. I got something for this bitch ass nigga. And if you guys were wondering why it was like lopsided too, when I seen the gift, I was because it's windy. I don't want no fucking smoke. That nigga do not want no motherfucking smoke. Hmm. You don't even know where you're going, bro. Fuck. Yeah, I'm ready for this thing to get back. <sighs> Corn balls.
Wow, man. Uh, so, you guys can't say after this that I'm the scary one, okay? The way he came and the way his tone was, was nothing but fear. I sense fear. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I always take the W and everything, man. I tell you. Flight team, stand up! What are you doing with your life right now, man? Wake up. Stop being a square. How you gonna sit up here and click on the video? How you gonna sit up here and click on anything on my social media without copying you some merch? Stop sleeping. Cop up. FlightReacts.com.